Hey Veggie Fam, welcome back. And if you're new here, welcome either way. I'm Veggie Rose. And if this is your first time stopping by, I make new videos or I post new videos every Monday and Wednesday, sometime another one in between there. And also I do a live stream on Fridays where we just get to chit chat, hang out and do Q and A's and all of the fun stuff. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a double baked sweet potato. I've never been a huge fan of sweet potato myself or pretty much no one in my family has. <laughs> so I don't have too many like memories of sweet potato growing up, but I know a lot of people do. And I've been getting a lot of requests on Instagram uh, to make sweet potato recipes. And now that fall's coming, I know more and more people are wanting sweet potato stuff. So if you guys have any requests, you can let me know in the comments below. You can also let me know on Instagram because I always take requests on Instagram as well. And yeah, so let's get veggie. Okay, so our first step is super, super simple. So I basically just have two sweet potatoes here. You can double this recipe, do four sweet potatoes and double the rest of the ingredients. The list, uh, I'm sorry, not the list, the recipe link will be down below where you can check it out with the full instructions and, and ingredients and all that. So I have two sweet potatoes and all I did to the sweet potato is literally just cut it lengthwise in half so that we end up with two halves of sweet potatoes. So I did that with two of these and I've already greased my uh, baking pan here. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is just lay these flat, uh, sort of like face down onto the pan. And we're gonna place this into the oven. It's been preheated at 350 degrees and it's gonna go into the oven for 40 to 45 minutes or until it becomes nice and tender. However, I'm not gonna place this into the oven because I have an air fryer. So if you have an air fryer, put it for 350 degrees for about 20 minutes and it should be done in half the time. All right guys, so let's get started on the kind of like filling mixture while we have our uh, potatoes baking. So first things first, of course, we're gonna need a little bit of oil, whoops. We're gonna need a little bit of oil into our skillet here, which is looking a little ashy because <laughs> I used soap earlier on it. I know it's a no-no, had to be done. Anyways, so um, I have that on there. I'm just gonna wait for it to uh, heat up a little bit. In the meantime, I wanted to tell you guys that this recipe is actually really good. Um, like if you wanna take something like a side dish to some sort of party, like a little holiday party or like Thanksgiving, if you're going to Thanksgiving and not hosting Thanksgiving, this is a really good side dish to take. Of course, you're not only gonna do two baked potatoes. If you're gonna go to some sort of a holiday function, you're gonna do more. But like I said, the recipe will be down below and you guys can go ahead and actually uh, multiply that and you know, do all the good math stuff to make it more. So I have some uh, mushrooms here and then I also have green onion and a fourth, about a fourth of a red bell pepper. Again, the, the recipe will be linked down below so you guys can get everything in detail down there. And at this point, whoops, I got something so tricky about chopping up green onions. Like it's still all stuck together. So I'm just going to allow this to become tender, everything to become nice and tender. I'm just going to do a small pinch of salt. I don't want to do too much salt because this is one of those kind of like sweet, slightly savory uh, recipes. I mean, not slightly savory, it is savory because we have mushrooms in there. But, you know, the sweet potato is very nice and sweet. And we want to keep this a very sweet potato dominant dish. So our veggies are nice and tender. These are exactly the way I want them. And we have a little bit of uh, kind of like browning going on, just a slight bit. And that's going to add to the flavor. So next thing we're going to do is I'm just using a knife. You can scoop it out, but I noticed that when I actually try to scoop it out, without kind of like going around the edges with a knife, I tear into the skin and I don't want to do that. So um, I'm just kind of like going around the very edges. I'm just gonna use the same spatula. I'm gonna go around the very edges of our sweet potato and then I'm just gonna place it into a bowl and I'm gonna do that with all four pieces. Now we have all of our sweet potatoes uh, 
just like, I guess, just the skin left. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and sort of like, kind of mash up a little bit. Not complete, you don't wanna completely mash this up because you don't wanna end up with just like a mashed potato. So you wanna leave some chunks. So now that we have our mixture all nice and kind of like mashed up, but we still have a bit of like chunkage. <laughs> that sounds awful. Uh, we have a little bit of chunks in there. We're gonna add in our vegetable mixture here. I'm also gonna be adding a fourth, approximately a fourth, or uh, let's just say like two thirds of a cup of uh, vegan cream cheese that has been softened. And by softened, I mean like super soft because it's just really hot in here. Um, but it doesn't have to be as soft as mine is. I'm also gonna be doing uh, half a tablespoon, half a tablespoon of uh, chopped thyme. I'm also gonna be adding half a teaspoon, yes, I just eyeballed it, half a teaspoon of ground sage. And then once again, a tiny pinch of salt just for tiny two pinches of salt, just to kind of like balance out all the sweetness. So we're gonna mix this all up really well. It looks so beautiful and it smells so yummy. Oh, it's so, it's so festive looking. Look at that, so pretty. All right, and now we're just gonna fill these uh, skins with our filling. So beautiful. Gorgeous, I love it. All right. It's such a simple recipe to make and it tastes so good. Now I know someone's bound to ask what could they use instead of the vegan cream cheese and what I would recommend using is uh, like silken tofu uh, if you wanted to do that and if you're completely soy free and you don't wanna do the soy thing um, then just completely get rid of it altogether and then see how it tastes like that. Uh, maybe you could also try some uh, coconut yogurts. It will add to the sweetness and make it coconut flavored, of course, but um, I can definitely see that working. Like I said, I, I haven't actually tried it with that, but I can totally see it working. So we're gonna place this back into the preheated oven, 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. All right, guys, so it is taste testing, taste test time. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and dive into this because this is what it looks like absolutely delicious so good it's like such a beautiful little presentation i love 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 how pretty it looks just straight out of the oven all i did was put like some thyme little sprigs around the plate to make it look even prettier but it's so festive and so fall i know a lot of people are like rose fall stuff already for real yeah for real <laughs> so you can eat the skin if you like whatever floats your boat i'm just going in for the filling Mmm. You guys, I don't even like sweet potatoes. I don't even like sweet potatoes. But I am loving this right here. I'll probably make it again tomorrow. Made it yesterday. And then probably the day after. This, will, this might become my new obsession. So good. Mmm. Mmm. Maybe I was making the wrong thing with sweet potato all along. Maybe I do like sweet potato after all, because I am digging this. You guys, if you like sweet potato, check this out. Make it, try it for yourself. If you don't like sweet potato, still make it, try it out, because this might make you like sweet potato after all, like me. It's so creamy, so, so very creamy. It has like these little bursts of savory flavor from the mushroom and the green onion and the pepper gives it a little added like delicious little sweetness is so so good actually um i would like to sprinkle just a little bit extra salt over top and um yeah let me know if you guys like this video give it a big old thumbs up if you try this recipe don't forget to tag me on instagram hashtag team veggie rose and i will talk to you guys very soon love you bye